Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris and this is Calibria Crystal Guardians and in this video we're going to be talking about the starting farming champion. Kind of a little bit of a beginner's guide about your farming champion and how to build, build that hero up so you're able to farm more efficiently and be able to level up um, all your other heroes to be able to make a nice team to take on uh, further challenges in the game. So when you start off the game you're going to be given Angel of Death. So you can see mine we are uh, 6 stars level 39 she's all rolled out and we are comfortably able to hit our uh, optimized level for farming experience which is brilliant so <clears throat> how do we get up to this stage how do we get our hero so she can farm efficiently and be able to level up all our other heroes um so uh, as soon as you get her from your growth plan over here um by the way, in, in your growth plan, I would recommend uh, buying this two times token because it gives you double rewards for all for everything that you collect on that level of the growth plan, which is a lot of resources and that's going to help you out, especially in the start of this game. You get two angels of death, um, which kind of comes in handy a little bit later on. Once you get max level, you get to sanctify and get an extra bonus skill if you have another angel of death. So we've got our angel of death. We have... Uh, played a few levels and now we kind of want to follow where is it quests so if we go into quests we've got a fight plan and if we go to quick level here we've got this kind of uh little like milestone kind of progression here going on and the first thing it's asking us to do is conquer black uh blackpool hills uh stage one normal with only one hero and then once you do that you get a you get some five star runes and these are all attack runes uh, which are going to be a nice first set to kind of put on your Angel of Death. The second one, so this is going to give you an XP booster. Now this is really important, especially when you're building when you're building a farming champion and when you're using your farming champion, or should I say hero. Um, XP boosts uh, are really important because it's going to double your experience gained, which is going to help things uh, along a lot quicker. Uh, so if you're still not up to that stage where you can get the uh, where you can get this quest done. To get that XP boost, <clears throat> I would recommend just going into the shop, going to special, and just buying an XP boost. Depends on how long you're going to be playing it for. I usually go for the three day boost because it's much more value for gems. You get three days for 200 rather than one day for 100 gems. Um, so just purchase one of these, that's going to give, give you three days worth of uh, two times XP. But yeah, so let's go to our, our map. Once we've got our, our heroes, you're going to want to just like go through this this level path, taking out these guys, and kind of as you're working through these, just get a few few runes and equip them on your champions to get them a bit stronger. It doesn't matter too much what they are at this stage, just as long as they're enhancing your heroes, giving them more damage or more protectiveness. Um, so just work your way up these levels, kind of leveling your heroes as you go. Um, and your aim is for Blackpool Hills level 1. Um, and kind of just progress as far as you can go up through all these levels. Maybe move on to here if you can. Um, but at this stage, once we're up here with a full team and we're able to like get these stages cleared, instead of sticking around here, we want to be heading back to the beginning. And um, once we head back to the beginning, we can start moving up to hard. So they, they're not going to progress um, too difficult, the rest too difficult, they're not going to be too challenging moving up the, these difficulty levels in the first area and that's kind of what we want to focus on next. Once we've got a team that's kind of, <clears throat> that's kind of leveled up a bit and you've got some like, just some runes, some two star runes on them, three star runes, um, leveled up to probably like level six on each of their slots. They've got some nice stats, we can start working on these levels, we can start going through hard <clears throat> and then working our way through hell um, and then we want to do that for all three of these until we get to this one level three on hell once we're up to this point this is the perfect opportunity to start farming some runes for our hero instead of waiting to get these free ones from this fight fight plan on here which can be good which can be nice uh, and i know this is the way that i did it because i wasn't at that level where i could do it with, with uh, just one hero at the minute just like solo blackpool hills on my own um so before i went there to do it i kind of had to farm my own runes on hell 
So this was just going through all the stages until I got five stars for each of the room for my angel of death. That's not actually true. I did have two pieces of crit rate. Yeah, so I did five and six for crit rate on my on my hero, which I believe are like pretty much the same ones that are in on her now. <clears throat> so we've got two pieces of crit rate and the rest are all attack. Now, as you're farming hero, you don't want them to be super fast. You just want them to be able to... You don't necessarily want them to be fast. You want them to do as much damage as you can, especially for uh, Angel of Death. Um, because with her skill set, you kind of keep it like this. Um, her first attack just attacks an enemy with 370% of attacking damage. You're going to start off with this skill, which slashes an enemy two times with 250% of attacking damage. And then this passive, which means you receive a bonus attack turn after killing an enemy. <clears throat> and she also has a crit rate um, leader skill. So this is the kind of setup you're going to want to have, uh, especially like leveling her up. Um, there is another option where you can switch uh, A2 ability out for this one. And this just attacks two random targets for 370% of attack, um, which is good when you can one-shot enemies. But when you're not quite there to one-shot enemies, you want to stick with this skill because then she's going to get two hits on that same enemy and then give you another turn. <clears throat> so that are uh, her skills. So you can see the aim of this hero is to build up enough damage with one hit to be able to kind of uh, chain her attacks. So she'll kill one enemy, move on to the next one, kill that one, move on to the next one, kill that one. Um, so it's a bit of slower than um, other uh, or more efficient farming champions that have AoE skills, which can take whole team down with one ability. Um, but this is a free one and it's a starting one, so it's it's good enough for us at this stage. So yeah, so once you've like farmed these out, you've got these to hell, you've got these three stars, and then you're able to to kind of pick and choose which kind of rune slot you want to aim for, which is brilliant. And then you can start uh, enhancing those runes, leveling up, getting them to as high as possible. There is a stage seven which gives you a chance of getting a random rune, and it also has a chance of get becoming rare which gives you an extra sub stat on there from the start, but that's one more energy to do this level and you get less, slightly less experience from completing this as well. Uh, so I'll kind of avoid that and just kind of focus on the runes that you need to get. So once you've got the runes you want to upgrade, you put them in there. You've got your standard five star attack rune in one. You've got your attack percentage in two and so on. So they're all five star runes. You got attack percentage, crit rate and attack percentage uh, in slots two, Four and six and um, then you want to start to level up <clears throat> now I'd recommend taking them all up to plus six to start off with actually no bump them all up to plus nine and then from there you want to be working on your main attack percentage and then your crit rate so the aim is to get 100% crit rate and get these attack percentage uh, runes maxed out to be able to do uh, a really high amount of damage and just don't forget when you're trying to get your crit rate up, just remember that she does have 19% crit rate uh, anyway. So that's in addition to the 15% there. So that means you're going to want to get 66% crit rate to give her 100% crit rate. Uh, once you're finished working on that and, and also just pay attention to your growth plan as well. Because I'm on growth plan 3. One of the requirements on here is to enhance 6 runes to plus 15. Uh, so a lot of people have said like, oh, uh, to get your uh, rewards for that, just grab a one star rune and just level up to 15 because it's going to cost you less uh, Kalanite to do that. However, as we're focusing on Angel of Death as a farming hero, uh, we're going to focus on these runes. So we want to get these up to, we want to get these up to 15. We want to get these to put out as much damage as possible. Getting these runes up to plus 15 is going to be vital to do that. So yeah, so once you've got all your runes, uh, you've got, you started working on leveling them up. And they're all five star in each of the slots. You got attack percentage, attack percentage, crit rate in those three certain slots. You can start you know, working your way back up again up to Blackpool Hills. And <clears throat> you should be able to at least do hard by now. Um, so that means just sticking around here for a bit, just farming a load of food to be able to enhance it to six star. And with the growth plans, you're going to get loads of ascension cats as well. Um, so you can just put food into the Ascension Cats to help you level up your heroes, especially Angel of Death. Darren, once she's six starred, you level, up her, level her up a bit more, and then you should be able to move on to Hell, Stage 1. And that's pretty much where you're going to be farming from here on out. Um, until you get like a, a five-star farming farming hero, um, and then you'll be able to move on to, to these other stages over here uh, for more XP. 
Um, but yeah, this is ideally where you want to be. That's hell one. And let me just show you her in action quickly. Um, <clears throat> so I've got some farming, some food here that I'm leveling up. Check her skills. So I've got the normal skill on there. We've got our runes up. Let's just go ahead and see this battle. So you see she's doing like a bit, she's taking them all out. Um she's <clears throat> doing quite a nice bit of damage. Just this guy she can't do uh on her own. <clears throat> With one shot, so it's gonna take her a few to take him down. Right, okay. So we're at the level where we can take stuff out with one hit. Yeah, so if you're starting out in this game, definitely work on Angel of Death. Get her up to that, um, get to that, yeah, work on her up to that point where she's able to farm as a solo hero with um, other champions as food that you can level them up and kind of enhance other champions, other heroes with that. So there is one more thing that you could get in this game to boost your experience gains even further and get you um, quicker to your goal of having that farming champion uh, at max level, being able to have found the most effective place. Um, and that is if we go to the shop. Oh, okay, so it's in packs, so it's something that you will have to buy. Um, but these half moon cards here, there's one for £5 and one for £15. So click on this £15 one, this is half moon card 2. Now, this is completely optional. Uh, by buying this, it's for 15 pounds and it's gonna last for 15 days um so what that does is you're gonna receive 500 gems for the purchase and 150 gems and 50 stamina per day while it's active so that's for 15 days and then this is the bonus part as well as an additional 20 percent hero experience from battles while active um, so basically you spend 15 pounds get this active for 15 days and you're your heroes are going to be gaining 20% more experience. Uh, so that's also another option if you want to get there faster to purchase this. And that's going to be additional experience while you're leveling up and grinding. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. We've kind of gone over um, everything that you want to do. Just briefly, growth plans, time to stuff if you want to. Your fight planning quests. And then work your way through the campaign uh, working on your angel of death uh, once you struggle to progress go back and three star these on hell and then focus grind ruins and then you should be able to get up to blackpool hill on hard and above make sure you got an xp times two active and enough energy to keep on going or enough gems to keep replenishing your energy and you will be you'll have your first six star in no time um, if you don't pull any better champions, this is probably going to be the one that you will want to six, six star first time, and then also get her evolved. Um, so, um, so to finish it, I'm just going to do a summon. Did I pick? I did pick. I, I have a light and dark scroll. I don't have many mystic scrolls, so I'm going to keep hold of those just for a bit. But we're going to do this one for you guys. Hopefully, we get lucky. Let's do this. And we did not, but we got Chung Li. Just quickly as well, if you ever do get lucky enough, um, I've only seen a few of these champions so far. Um, but the ones to watch out for, like the biggest one which everyone kind of like uh, aims for, is Spider Queen. She is going to be a really good uh, campaign farmer. Um, but the one I really like, the one that stands out for me, is going to be those um she joan <clears throat> she is an amazing campaign farmer um so she does have a single attack but she's probably not going to use that she's probably going to be using uh this passive which increases own attack by 70 percent her 19 percent crit rate and her skill 2, which is Razor Sword of Define Light and attack all enemies three times. Each attack deals 100% of attack and damage. For each enemy killed, reduce the cooldown of the skill by one turn. So if you go in there, clear a wave, it's going to reset. So you can use it again, clear a wave, reset, and use it again. So it just chains this AoE 
uh, attack, which is really nice. Um, okay, so that's it for this video. If you guys found any of this information useful whatsoever, then please hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. Hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.